Hello everyone, welcome to my stream. I'm George, you can find me as uh, Volcario in various Amiga forums. How are you doing? Hello everyone on the chat. So uh, today is uh, Friday and we have the classic Amiga uh, stream uh, here on my channel on Twitch. And uh, today I have uh, some very interesting stuff to, to show you. We have a, a sneak peek on two games for the Pystorm uh, Amigas, and not only that, uh, we will see more details in uh, uh, during the, the stream. And uh, we are going to have uh, also a, a, I will check something interesting that I bought for this uh, Amiga, which uh, will make it uh, as a very interesting uh, uh, day because today possibly I'm going to, to close that uh, uh, case uh, and uh, we will see how this is going to happen in a few uh, minutes because I'm, I want to, to add some extra for this uh, Pystorm Amiga uh, that is, it might be useful for a lot of people uh, so I would like to, to show you that so how are you doing? Um, I was looking forward for this stream because uh, last week I missed it. I didn't manage to get prepared for it. And uh, this week we have uh, two games to, to have a look into, um, which are uh, two new ports for 68K Amigas, uh, but uh, they will require some uh, powerful machines. The first one is the Golki 17, which we are going to play today. And we will also have a look on Heretic 2. That is uh, the second game that we are going to play uh, today. Um, both of these games are in beta stage right now. They are not uh, available to buy them uh, yet. But uh, soon, I think, this is going to change. Uh, I am uh, part of uh, the beta test team for these games. Uh, the developer that uh, ports them for the 68K Amigas is uh, Stephen Hauser. Um, we have seen the Heretic 2 for the Amiga OS 4 on uh, my streams, Amiga was for uh, Gaming Nights streams that I'm doing every Tuesday uh, which I managed also to, to finish on stream and uh, this is a great game and um, having that uh, for 68k Amigas uh, it's going to be uh, exceptional I think uh, and uh, today we are going to have a look how it works, we are going to run um, some benchmarks and see how this uh, works, uh, how fast it is on my Pystorm uh, Amica here with a Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. Um, so this is going to happen in a few minutes or later today, so stay tuned. And we will also play the Golki 17. This was ported by Hyperion uh, some time ago for Amiga OS 4 and now it's time for the 68k machines to, to have that and uh, for everyone who has classic Amigas powerful classic Amigas will be able to, to pay, play it um, but before that I would like to show you some small stuff that I bought for this uh, Amiga because if you follow my um, streams you know that this case is still open because I'm tickering with it and I'm adding stuff, uh, removing stuff and all, stuff and all these things but also because the trapdoor underneath is not suitable for the Pystorm uh, Amigas especially the ones that have Pystorm 3 or Pystorm 4 Hey FFSoc, welcome to the stream um, and uh, I bought something that I would like to, to show you and it might also help a little bit with these games. Now, I just uh, need to, to tell you that I, uh, I presenting this item is, has nothing to do with uh, advertisement. I'm not affiliated 
with uh, the uh, company that sells this uh, item um, and they didn't send it to me to show in the stream uh, I just bought it because I needed it and in case someone else needs something similar um, I just thought uh, that it would be good to show you that and have that in mind so um, first of all I will get the package here let me switch the camera so that you can see it much better so the the problem that I have with my Amiga is the trapdoor and um, for that I bought a 3D printed trapdoor this is available I bought it from uh, Alinea the AmigaShop.net website it has some space here for the uh, USB and the LAN headers of the Python to, to fit. It has some uh, uh, spaces also to get some extra uh, uh, wind. <laughs> I don't know how to, to say it. And also it has a, a little fan that you can connect to uh, your Amiga and blow uh, some cold wind from the uh, outside to the Python. So um, just to, to show you where exactly I found it, uh, let me switch here. Yeah, this is the ventilation trapdoor for Python 32 Raspberry Pi 3 from uh, Alinea Computers. Hey, it's it. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for passing by. Have a great evening. Um, this is available from Alinea. Um, I think you can find this trapdoor elsewhere that you, if you want to, to make your own and print it. Uh, I preferred to, to buy it from Alinea because it is uh, ready-made and it is, uh, there is an option to get the uh, fan. Um, you can select the fan from here. I bought the 12 volt and uh, here is a, um, a screen, a photo of this being installed. This small item here is a, an easy way to connect this to your um, uh, power on your uh, taking the power from the uh, floppy power connection and here it has a, a photo of the actual small board that can be used from uh, to take the power it has a um, actually this is this item here uh, but it is also um, covered by a 3d printed cover uh, and uh, it is configured for 12 volt uh, for the fan of mine so uh, this is a good solution I, I haven't installed it yet but I thought that it would be great to do it together and after that uh, this case is going to be finally able to, to close and uh, put back all the screws and uh, maybe never open it again <laughs> uh, so let's see first of all I will shut down the Amiga disconnect every cable that I have here Okay. Great. Let me switch my screen. Okay. So right now I have this trapdoor, and if I switch it a little bit, you see here how this trapdoor is pushed by the the piston. So having some space there to have the headers of the piston of the Raspberry Pi. Uh, not being pushed by the trapdoor is crucial in my opinion so let me 
put here this new trapdoor. Okay. And I hope this is visible uh, that the these uh, two are fitting just fine in the in the hole. Actually, they don't because there is one more header here. So it it should be a bigger one like that, which isn't. So now what can I do? Probably maybe bring some uh, tools to break it. There is some uh, part here that uh, probably is for being able to, to break it yourself if it is needed. So I'm going to bring something to break it and uh, make it fit better. I will be back in less than five minutes. Back again. So that's great. Let's break some stuff. Okay. So what I need to do is to make it a little bit bigger, this hole here, so that it can uh, let some space for this header over there. So let me start breaking it. This is a 3D printed piece, so it should be fine. It's, it is not that hard to, to cut it. Okay, it's not going to be beautiful, but I hope that it will do the work that I need it to do. Let's see now. No, it needs a little bit more. Okay, from that side. It might need some finding at some point to do it uh, later, but for now I think it's much better. Let's see if it fits now. Yes, uh, it's it's much much better for the specific Raspberry Pi. Now I don't know if they had some other uh, Raspberry Pi in mind. Maybe the three A. Um, 
Raspberry Pi, it, it might don't have so many headers. I'm not sure, to be honest. Okay. So it fits much better right now. And let's go from the other side and remove the case with the keyboard. Like that. And since I, since I have the um, blower here, what I need to do is to have some uh, power from the uh, floppy power. Uh, like that. This cable is not coming with the item. I had that around. Hey, Vincent, welcome to the stream. I have that around, so I'm going to connect this one and... Um, but uh, in case you are missing this kind of uh, cable for the floppy, uh, I think uh, Alina has them available. So what I need to do is to connect that to this uh, small adapter, like this, I guess. Okay, and then connect here the, the cable from the fan. The red wire should go from the left, like that. Let me do some cable management here, some basic one. And I hope this is going to be fine. Like that. Okay. So if I power it now, we should see. Yes. To power it, I have to have it in, in power. We should see the fan rotating, which, which it does. And it is pretty silent. So let me connect back the keyboard. And the LEDs. Like that. And now we are ready to close this case. This case is uh, one of the a12 uh, 1200.net uh, cases, the new cases that they recreated. Hello, Javier. Hi, we'll join later. When will Kero fixes what he broke? <laughs> okay. Uh, you know that when you are going to be back, I'm going to break something as well. So this case has some uh, long screws that are for the back. So yeah, let me put them as well. And uh, this is a historical moment because I have that case for quite some time uh, open for the streams. And if you remember, I was doing all the streams by <laughs> removing the case, the keyboard and trying to fix stuff. But now I think it is completed. So I don't need to, to open it again. Unless if I will need to remove the SD, which I don't have uh, right now a solution to have that uh, as an external somewhere. Um, maybe I will um, check something in the future to have uh, an extension for the micro SD to be able to uh, access it outside the the case but for now in case I will need to remove it I will have to open the, the case okay great just a few screws Uh, 
and we will be ready this uh, fan is going to help us keep a little bit the um, the heat out of the system especially today that we are going to play these uh, games the heretic 2 and the gorky 17 and because these games are quite demanding uh, i fear that the user the cpu usage is going to be increased which means that the heat in the system is going to be increased as well so let's see hdmi connected mouse connected the scan double connected power okay it's on audio on and the case right now is much better uh, Vincent says do you re recommend a specific version of iGame compiled for the 68000 3.1 OS um, every version uh, is fine for that OS uh, they are working just fine they take the same amount of memory um, almost the same amount of memory and uh, the latest uh, versions are much faster and uh, with less uh, bugs on manipulating the files and also they have um, a way to categorize all the games uh, really fast without doing too much uh, from your side if you use the iGame data files which you can find in um, a package altogether and just extract them and in, um, use them. Um, there is a, um, a stream I did with uh, PyStorm that describes all the steps that you need to do about that. Now, going to an older version only in case you don't want to use the end list, uh, the, the new end list. Um, in case your machine is not powerful enough for uh, using it. The latest uh, version includes the 68,000 binary, yes. But you have to have in mind that all the libraries have to be exclusive 68,000. And if you want to use the uh, graphics library, uh, GFX library and the MCC GFX I think it's called you have to find the uh, 68,000 uh, versions have a look in the Amiga guide that comes with the uh, iGAM they, they are described uh, clearly there uh, A500 plus 2 plus 8 megabytes Pew 68,000 soon 68,010 new 3.8 yes okay that, that will be fine. Just don't put a list of uh, games, of 3,000 games in there. Uh, iGame is... Um, the, the iGame, even for 3,000 games, it takes around uh, 6 megabytes in uh, memory to, to have all this in, uh, in the memory and in the list. Uh, but for this machine, I wouldn't recommend to have too much, too, too many games in the list. Uh, 3,000 or 4,000 games, it's too much, even for the older versions of uh, iGame. But I would say just uh, experiment with that. I hope you have a, a fast uh, ID or something for this uh, machine. Hello, DC Tungo. Welcome to the to the stream. I hope you, I said the your your nickname uh, just fine. DC Tungo says uh, just use SMB share or and Pi Wi-Fi to transfer files. Yes, you can do it. Uh,
and his uh, proposal to get a pie storm is yeah it's it's uh, the best thing that you can put into your uh, amiga i have three launchers that are light just to test a game i i uh, i have a blog post on my coffee page where i convert the i game uh, on starting times and on building the database with three other uh, launchers one is the tiny launcher and the other is the x bench and uh, based on my uh, <laughs> metrics uh, i game is much better on on many things uh, it it loads faster and it categorizes and uh, scans the a folder much faster than the others But if you have time, go from uh, go at mycoffee.com uh, slash Volcaro and you will find this uh, article that I have all the information there. Uh, Vincent says, I have two pie stores, not for me though. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, pie Storm and uh, wrapper, you will have uh, max compatibility. Uh, And wrapper you will have you mean when you say wrapper you mean the WSD load wrapper right you will have maximum co compatibility yeah I think you are right uh, for that although that I found uh, in one of my previous streams uh, a bug with one of the games one of my favorite games which is Team Power and it has uh, some glitches there but I know that this game is a little bit uh, tough to emulate or work well. For me, if you have to play games, classic Amiga games, uh, the the best uh, CPU to have, the best accelerator is uh, one with a uh, 68030, in my opinion. If you want to play games like the, the ones that we have seen in this stream or for uh, RTG games like Doom, like uh, Quake, like uh, all this stuff uh, and especially games like the ones that we are going to see today yes, a Pie Storm is the best, val the best value for money uh, Vincent says, do you have the latest Jim Power Slave? Yes, I think so I did an update through the WSD load. But I I can't be 100% sure. I have to, to check again. So, the fan is there. It's 12 volt fan. I can hear it right now, which is a little bit disappointing because uh, I have uh, used to have this kind of Amigas being uh, deadly quiet, but that's fine, that's fine. It's not too loud. Uh, this Tungo says, uh, make sure you don't have force turbo on config txt. Okay, I will, I will check that again. Kesitach, uh, welcome to stream. Not only compatibility with old games, there will be new games also. PyStorm is really powerful. Magic SN writing here, by the way. Don't wonder the, the word uh, username from some character. Name in computer game. Don't use Twitch much. You should uh, register with uh, your uh, Magic SN uh, nickname. By the way, Magic SN is the same guy who did the ports for the Gorky 17 and the Heretic 2 that uh, we are going to see later. Um, so, about Gorky 17, before we start, let me uh, check a little bit the... where is it? Here, the readme file. Okay. So, as it says here, 
Uh, this version includes localization for German, English, French, Hungarian, Italian, Polish, Russian and Spanish. A lot of uh, languages. And uh, have in mind that Gorky 17 has also... Uh, you, it has uh, speech. Uh, so I guess uh, most of these languages are, are uh, supported. I think only French doesn't have uh, speech. Uh, it's only... Um, you only see in French the, the text. Um, please note that the software renderer requires Picasso 96 to be installed. Okay. Uh, sound is supported through AHI, AHI, uh, using the Magic Sound system. The movie replay and Pega library is needed for the audio. Get it from Aminet. So, um, having uh, this game testing for some time right now, and uh, Stephen uh, Hauser, who is here and is doing the, the port, uh, we found that the MPEG uh, libmat has some issues, uh, some bugs or something, and they are not working that well. So if you want to, to use that game, I think you need the MPEG, the specific MPEG library from 1999. I don't know if Steven is going to release a newer version or something, uh, but with this, it's working just fine. And he mentions here, not the one based on Lipman. The second one leads to distorted audio in the movie replay. Without Mbeka library, the intro videos stay mute. That is the case for both Gorky and uh, Heretic 2. Muadib, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. What will you, will you play in AB3 D2? No. Uh, we are going to play the. We are going to have a sneak uh, uh, peek on uh, two games that are in beta version right now, beta testing, and they are going to be, I hope, released soon. Um, so we are going to have a look on that. Kesita says, uh, "Magic Sen." says uh, you do not share your screen yet by the way we only see the 1200 but it is a beauty isn't it thanks for letting me know because i usually forget to to switch the screens oh cool green <laughs> no madib no stay stay tuned and you will le uh, learn everything now minimum requirements for the gorky 17 an amiga with python installed or alternatively you are or an Apollo Vampire V4, Picasso 96, and uh, AHI uh, installed. Uh, the game runs somewhat on 100 MHz 68060 systems, possibly lower clock frequency untested, but the scrolling is not smooth on such systems. 060 and Vampire systems might have not enough memory, but if you disable the music sound effects, and speech output will still play. The memory will be enough on such systems. Now, um, cool. And um, something else it says about movies. Movies are by default set to be replayed using a custom version of Riva. If you want to use a different player, you can use the environment variable. And it has some information about the environment variable that you can use. Uh, Magic Ascent says uh, Cyber Graphics works too in, in the meanwhile if you do not have a P96, but all PyStorm will have a P96, of course. Yes, um, I haven't tested that with Cyber Graphics. I have one machine here with uh, Cyber Graphics and uh, PPC on B Vision. Maybe it will be a good test to do in the, the following days, uh, Stephen. So, and see how, how good it works there. Although, uh, as I, I told you, I would love to have a, a port for the PPC, a Warp OS uh, version, if it is possible, of course. So, uh, without any more delays, uh, let's start the, the game.
Okay, so Golki 17. Uh, Stephen, would you like to say a few things about the game or the resolution that uh, we are running right now? So from uh, the graphics options, I have the shadows disabled. We can enable it in the during the game and see how this looks. Uh, but for my system with the Raspberry Pi 3 B Plus, whenever I enable the shadows, the uh, mouse movement is a little bit slower. Uh, this nick is disabled. Sound options. I will. Uh, reduce a little bit the the music because during the uh, speech uh, the voice volume uh, if you have uh, okay you can play with the volumes the way that you want to to have that better on your system okay let's start a new game Now this version, these uh, videos are the low resolution uh, that I choose to install. I think they are uh, 320 to 240 uh, resolution, but with the game, uh, higher resolution videos are going to be available. Uh, and you are going to be able to choose during the installation uh, which version you would like to have the installed. training facility operated by the Russians? It, it was shut down last year, no? Secret, yes. Spy, no. Gorky 17 housed military experiments. One year ago, the Soviets bombed off the face of the Earth. No one knows why. If no one knows, why do we care? As you know, this town has been placed under military quarantine. We told the press that terrorists were struck here with smallpox. Well, this isn't exactly true. We don't know what is happening. General Gordon Lamar, chief of information that whatever happened is happening here. Unfortunately, his first strike team wasn't able to confirm this, and we lost contact. Where do we fit in? The orders are simple. First, find any remaining members of Group 1. Second, Lamar's informant described a laboratory in the city. We are to find and secure the site. Everyone clear? We am ready. Otis, are you clear? Crystal clear and ready, boss. Oh yes, one last thing. I prefer to survive. For such a mission, it is too bad we aren't experienced soldiers. Wait, we are. Sometimes experience is not enough.
Stephen says, uh, speech is by the way localized to German, English, Italian, Spanish, Polish, Russian and Hungarian and the French version which is English with French uh, subtitles. Um, also the game is going to be released in a physical uh, product, uh, so I don't know what exactly is going to be, uh, either CDs or something. But uh, yeah, have that in mind, that you are going to be able to, to buy it in a physical uh, form. So we have these three uh, soldiers that... The game is um, a little... a few words about the game is a point and click and uh, you move. It's a turn-based uh, game, so you move into this area and then when you have fights with uh, monsters which we will see uh, in a few minutes. Uh, the, there is a turn-based uh, uh, game where you have to, to survive. Uh, Stephen says uh, there will be also a solution for systems without CD drives. Yeah, okay, good, great, great. Um, and uh, below we have this uh, bar here. We have the three soldiers, so we can switch from there. And the backpack is uh, the inventory. We see here the guns and the ammo that we have. Uh, this uh, character has um, the health, the healing items, and some other key items that you might need to use during your game. And we can also uh, switch from this window as well. On the, the right, we see the characters of the, the, for this character, the characteristics of this person. The healing points, the work range, luck, accuracy, uh, counter attack, which is quite crucial on uh, fights, and the calmness. And uh, the experience is um, a metric that uh, during fights, uh, you get you gain experience, and based on that, the character is able to get to higher level, which means that then you can also increase your characteristics. For example, to increase your healing points or the the counter attack metric. Here uh, there is a button about weapon skills. Uh, we don't have anything because we haven't used any weapon. Uh, when you use a weapon, you increase the level of this weapon, the, the level of the character to use that weapon. And that means, I guess, that in uh, when you are uh, using a lot, a specific weapon, you the character gets much better on that. Um, to use a weapon, we have two ways. We can drag it from the list here or there is a faster way to go for example here and click this uh, list which lists all the, the weapons and all the healing items as well so we can select one and use it here um, the same for the, the other person like that and from these buttons, you have the weapon skills again, if you want to, to see it from this screen, or the personal stats. The other boxes are opening usually during a fight, so we can see that in a few minutes or seconds. Seconds. <laughs> so now we are on a 10 based uh, mode where we need to do a fight with this. Uh, little monster. So you see here the, the green area is the, the based on your steps that you can do um, where you can go. This uh, character has four steps. If we check the personal stats you can see here work range four of four. So he has four steps and if you select a, a gun, let's say I will select the pistol the pistol can, you see the red uh, area, is uh, where the, that, uh, with that w weapon where exactly you can shoot. And you might see at the 
uh, less uh, last parts is uh, less concentrated the the dots are less concentrated uh, for example here against this area that means that uh, if you shoot here if the master was here and you shoot there uh, it has less chance a chance to to hit it which means that if you want to have a, a better chance you have to go a little bit uh, closer to the monster like that and then I would click on the right uh, mouse button and enable the the gun and shoot so the the number 10 you saw there is the damage that we did if we go and uh, hover uh, above the monster we see its uh, healing points health points sorry health points so let's switch to another we can switch either by clicking on the person or by clicking here and we will go there change the, the weapon the game is pretty easy to understand how it works I guess So as soon as we are done, we can uh, press enter on the keyboard or click on the enter button here. Now we have counter attack as you can see, because this uh, was enabled for us. So if we uh, we have to use the specific weapon that we have and uh, shoot back the uh, the monster. So now that we we are victorious, <laughs> we see here an overall about the experience that each person gained from this fight and uh, how many monsters they, they each and every person killed. Madib says great and all this runs on a 1200 with a Python. Yes, exactly. Um, if you have a faster Raspberry Pi, let's say a Raspberry Pi 4 or CM4, uh, Compute Module 4, it might be uh, a little bit faster, but uh, it is quite playable right now. 
So we have here, you see this uh, item, it somehow blinks. So you, and if you go with a mouse over it, you see a description. You need to right click on that and then have uh, some extra options. So right now we have two monsters to fight. And this here is the turn the, that we are currently at. Uh, one is the first turn, of course. Uh, Stephen says, yes, no matter if Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, it also runs on Vampire version 4 um, with a bit longer loading time. Uh, we also did some tests on uh, O60. If you disable music, the installer offers this for O60 systems. It is somewhat playable on 100% megahertz, sorry, 100 megahertz, 060, but the scrolling sometimes is still a, a bit jerky on uh, 060. Mm. So this has less than 20 uh, health points. Okay. And to save a little bit uh, of bullets, I'm going to go close to it and try to kill it with that. Cool! Uh, the other one has a lot yet. So I'm going to hit it and go far away from it. So I'm going to maybe save some hits from from it cool like that so I it has 23 let me shoot it once and run away and then bring this one change gun and he missed He didn't miss. Uh, Stephen says same as to O60 as to Vampire V2 systems. Okay, yeah, uh, this kind of games n need uh, a powerful system to to play. That's why I said earlier that the Pi Storm is the best uh, value for money because it's much cheaper and you get a lot power for your uh, system to to use. I don't know if anyone disagrees with that approach. So we have here a note. Over here we see uh, what the note uh, says. So the first one is here, PT 6213. I don't know what that means, but we might find out in the future. And here we have a box. Let's open it. That has some interesting stuff. Hey, call. Uh, and let's go from this side. That's a door that we can open and we can get inside. So, what character is moving here? The camera changes as you, as you can see. 
and we find here some gloves let's take it nothing else is useful although this process looks uh, look interesting uh, Stephen I'd love to have a, an Amiga poster here that would be great addition if possible and uh, here although it seems that this area is blocked actually you can step over this pipe and uh, continue change my uh, gun to the flamethrower here and I'm going to use it against this monster over here and then with that guy let's see can I shoot him The good thing with a flamethrower is since you are putting someone uh, a monster on fire, uh, they keep on losing um, health points. So that's a very good uh, gun to use. And I finished my turn. Now this is with three uh, health points. I will go here and kill it. And I will use this guy to shoot this monster below. But he missed. How about this one? It's eight. Okay. Let me use this. You have always to have in your mind to save as much as, am uh, as possible ammo because uh, there are not many available during the every stage so saving them is a good uh, strategy if possible
So this barrel here, the red barrels, can be used uh, as uh, explosives if uh, the uh, master is beside it. Now this one is pretty close, so I will try to explode it and see if that makes any damage. It wasn't bad. Uh, now this one... Well, right now the, the character uh, got into level 2, so we can uh, put, increase his uh, statistics. What I would like to increase is give one point for calmness, two points for counter attack, and uh, two points for accuracy. And we can check his uh, level on uh, the guns, and you see here the, the guns that uh, he used and the level for each one of them. Now I'm thinking if I should uh, go and try to kill this guy. Because it has uh, the less uh, health points. Now, because I can't do any attack, we can, I can uh, defend myself, uh, which makes the character to crouch. That might help a little bit if uh, he takes any attack and uh, to reduce the damage.
25, that was good. He's left with two health points, so I'm going to Stefan says uh, this game is pretty close to release by the way, as you can see from how it goes, let's say it will be available during this summer. And that's awesome news uh, Stefan. Because uh, I have played this game on uh, Amiga OS 4 and it is pretty good. It's a little bit tough, <laughs> to be honest, but uh, yeah, if you put some time to the game to learn the mechanics, it's uh, pretty nice. Now he is left uh, with 30 health points, so I'm going to heal him.
unfortunately the frame thrower is not yet uh, uh, loaded so I'm going to do something else has no bullets so let's see what we can do uh, I need to change the the car system always reminds me of Abermoon, just tougher and a bit more modern graphics than Abermoon. I'm afraid that this guy is almost dead, so I'm going to move him here. He is covered by these barrels, I think. Let me... So now that I don't have any battles going on, I can heal my people even further. Hey Falcon, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Today we are playing some uh, games. Gorky, this is Gorky 17 on uh, Pystorm. This is in beta stage uh, today. Uh, yet, sorry, today. <laughs> yet. Uh, soon it's going to be released and it's going to be available for Pystorm and Vampire V4. It will be able to be played on uh, um, on uh, 060, 68060, but it 
it will be a little bit slow. Tower 57? No, 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 no. Gorky 17. That's Gorky 17. It was uh, ported a few years ago by Hyperion for Amiga OS 4. And now this is the version for the 68K Amigas. Uh, but it requires a little bit uh, a beefed up uh, Amiga to play it. This is a sneak peek of the, the game and how well it works. And uh, later today we are going to have a look on another game, uh, which is again in beta uh, stage. And this is the Heretic 2 for the 68K Amigas. Uh, Stephen, who is the developer who bought it, is uh, here with us. And uh, yeah, he's with the nickname Kessitach. Maybe time for the second game, or what do you think? I was thinking that, just, um, yeah, because we, I think we took a good uh, sense of how this is working. Uh, and uh, if you... I just wanted to go here. Don't shoot me, I am human. Well, then who are you and what are you doing here? My name is Vasily Dubrovsky. I am a Russian army veteran, but I decided to stay in Poland after the troops went home. Are you Americans? Not exactly. I'm Polish, and I don't like Russians. We're part of a NATO combat unit. How did you manage to survive here? I do not know. It is so strange, so horrible. My friends and neighbors, they have changed, turned. They become almost monsters. You can drop those hands. Do you mean to tell me that all those creatures were humans? Those creatures, I, I knew some of them. Five, ten years. Now they are no longer human. They hunt me like, like food. I lock myself in my apartment. Soon, they come for me. Two come for me through my window. I, I, I think I must die. Then the window is clear again and I hear screams. Down on the street, I see two men fighting with me. Don't worry, we don't scare too easy. I, you think I'm crazy, but I think what attacked them is a visible monster. It was like the men were fighting in the air. Then their skin turns green and they, they, they drop into the ground. Were they wearing uniforms? Like us? How many men have you seen all together? Yes, just like you. I think the men come from the sewers. I see them come out from the old Russian security doors. That new door is sewers. Look, you have guns. You, you protect me. You stick with us and we'll do what we can. Just stay quiet and out of our way. One last thing. Did you see a woman with those men? No, only those two. And now you. All right, let's move out. Uh, you are interested in those men? That's right. I find this on them. On, on your bodies. You were searching through the body? No, 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 no. I search for food. I must have food to live, yes. And a gun, too, I, I hope. But please, here, here is the note. Hmm. I don't understand it. I think this is Russian. Ovitz, you can try. Okay. It says, uh... Kosov knows everything. He cares nothing for these people, but I do. If I can protect the Matrix discs, I might reverse this nightmare, but Kosov will destroy the discs if he finds them. He would do anything to protect his secret. I have hidden the discs, one in the port, one near the monuments, two in the city center. I will try tonight to gather them and return to the lab, but Kosov has asked to meet with me this afternoon. I fear I shall not... The note is not signed. Do you think this could be real? Mix four discs with one lab? Add horror? We could be cooking, yes? I didn't ask for any comment, Ovitz. Two men died for this note. I just hope it isn't some kind of joke. Listen up, team. I want answers. If the discs have answers, then I want those discs. Okay, let's go. Two members of Team One might still be alive. Oh no! Damn devils! Just stay back. We can hold them off. And stay 
Now, the thing is that uh, when you are in the middle of the, the fight, you cannot save the game. So I'm going to exit and get prepared for the Heretic 2. Uh, Falcon 11 says it looks good. Yeah, it is. Uh, Stephen says, I uh, hope so, but uh, the, ga the second game looks even better, I think. Though I myself prefer this one. I am a pen and paper RPG player. That's a uh, Trabant car. It is uh, called the Data Files Trabant Encounters even. Okay. So, let's go and see Heretic 2. I got a, a latest version from Stephen uh, today and uh, I installed it in, the, in my machine just a few minutes before the, the stream Falcon 11 says, are some fixes? What do you mean by that? So, this game, uh, as you can see here, is right now uh, running at 640 to 480. There are two different renderers, the software and the mini GL. Um, unfortunately, I haven't made, I haven't managed to make the mini GL work correctly because of the Warp 3D installation. I don't know uh, what is needed right now to, to make Warp 3D work correctly with the Python. I don't think that the old Warp 3D package is supporting Python. So uh, there is a need of a newer version for it. Stephen who is uh, in the, the chat can help us with that but we can run it and uh, render uh, the software renderer I will decrease the details because everything is going to run on the CPU uh, and we can have a look on the game <coughs> options okay Options. If you have uh, watched my streams uh, for uh, the Amiga OS 4 version of this uh, game, uh, you probably remember the screens and what exactly you can do to change your keys and configure your mouse and all this stuff. Um, for the Amiga OS 4, I was playing on 1080p with all the effects full uh, and it was playing 
great. Uh, Stephen is the guy who did the newest uh, port to, to utilize the graphics card uh, like the Radeon RX and the latest drivers for that. Um, but uh, for this version I have an issue with the 1200 and the mouse which I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to skip the, the videos if you don't mind the introduction or would you like to, to see them? Stephen says uh, this game is PyStorm only right now no support from Vampire at least right now we will see in the future, yes maybe for the Vampire would make sense to utilize their uh, new 3D capabilities and commands if it is possible but I don't know how easy it is to be done Falcon 11 says ok I understand I thought that uh, is on PPC only that 68k machine dude <laughs> the Heretic 2 was released a lot of time ago uh, for the PPC Blizzard PPC Uh, for Warp OS, I think. So that version back then, uh, it is uh, it is supporting the PPC uh, hardware. Stephen says it is viable on PPC but soon will be viable for uh, Pystor. Yeah, uh, I have been working on 68k version since 2023. A lot of work eh, to make it work just that good. Falcon 11 says perfecto. I have original for Heretic 2, Blizzard PPC and BVisio and now it will be uh, playable on Pystor. Very nice. Yes, that's the goal, I guess. And now it's where the game uh, starts. Hier stimmt etwas nicht. Wo sind sie alle? And as you can see, I don't do anything, Stephen. And that. Uh, and the character moves by himself. That's the problem that I reported. And if I remove the mouse, it stops. As you can see, he removed the mouse. Uh, and now I don't have the mouse. Um, I enabled the Joy PCX, PSX. Even if I do that, that uh, doesn't solve the, the issue. But it, it might be something that has to do with uh, my mouse, my system. Was ist? 
ist nur über mein Volk gekommen. So I'm going to play today with uh, keys only. Just to show a little bit the game. But before we see the game, I would suggest to have a look on some uh, metrics. What would you say? To, to run some benchmarks. So uh, right now, remember, we have the software renderer and uh, it's 640 to 480. Okay. And let's see how many frames per second it will uh, give us with the uh, Pystorm 3 B plus, right? So with a uh, Pystorm 4 it will be much faster. Stephen says on a Pi 4 C uh, MC4 it is 50% speed of uh, an Amiga 1 X1000. In software, of course, the X1000 is much faster on 3D hardware, but it is still playable on a Pi 3 version uh, with a bit reduced resolution, yes. Stephen says you will get a new beta soon, try with this, okay, that's that's great. And with the Pi Storm uh, MC4, uh, even more FPS, yeah, yeah, yeah. The faster the CPU of your system, the, faster, the, the better for the game. But I would like to run this benchmark for this resolution, uh, just for people to get an idea and also run it on a reduced resolution and see how, how it goes. It's not that bad. It is fast, yes. And it depends also on what you have at the screen at, the, at that point. For example, uh, what I have seen on the Amiga OS 4 version, when you have uh, the lake and the water and the uh, transparency there, you are losing some uh, uh, frames. It gets better when you are in uh, areas like this one. Stephen says the game includes a mini GL render, so if uh, at one point a 3D hardware solution for Python appears, a Retic 2 is already prepared for it. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good thing because things like that push developers to uh, devote time to create a Warp 3D uh, for these uh, Amigas. So we have almost uh, 12 frames per second, 11.6 frames per second. So let me reduce the resolution to something like 320 to 240. It's still visible on your screen and run it again. Falcon 11 says, uh, I have a, a MC4, this, a CM4, sorry, that's uh, good for me, yeah, yeah. Was ist nur über mein Volk gekommen? On CM4, you might try 640 to 360 with bilinear filter instead of uh, 48B. No bilinear filter. Looks nearly like 3D hardware render. Okay. But for Pi 3, bilinear filter is uh, too slow. Yeah, possibly. It's a, it's a great achievement even having that game running on this kind of uh, computers, right? So. I'm pretty happy to, to play even with uh, 15 uh, or 20 frames per second, if it is possible. Uh, but yeah, if I want, as a user, to get uh, even higher, I should uh, go with a uh, Python 4. A uh, Raspberry Pi 4, sorry.
22.8 frames per second. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, Falcon 11 says it's version for Python downloadable somewhere. It is uh, currently on beta testing. So Stephen is here and uh, who does the, this work for the, devel uh, the development and the port? Yeah, uh, it's going to be a physical release. It is probably the most technically challenging game ever to get a commercial release on 68K. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. So uh, what I'm going to do is to start a new game. Uh, video. Uh, we saw that and I want to change my keys so that I can play without the mouse Hier stimmt etwas nicht. Wo sind sie alle? Move keys That speed is it's great. Was ist nur über mein Volk gekommen? Was fühlt ihn? Er scheint krank zu sein. Let me check the key for oh, I haven't done anything here for the action. Okay.
I played this game on Amiga OS 4 as I said earlier and finished it and uh, trust me it was a blast, it was a great uh, time, I was having a great time playing this game. Verschlossen. And I'm dead. Uh, <laughs> Let me catch up with the, the chat. Falcon Level says, uh, uh, sorry, Stephen said, uh, same on Gorky, that it's going to be uh, through Alinea, uh, sold uh, through Alinea uh, for Amiga OS, for, uh, Amiga OS software uh, category. Uh, and Falcon says, uh, under I understand, like Heretic 2 for Amiga OS 4.1. Steven says, not sure yet which of the two games will be available first, but probably Gorky 17. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Gorky 17 seems uh, ready to, to be uh, released. It's quite stable, it is fast. Uh, it's a pretty good uh, game. Falcon 11 says, does not matter. Important is that they will be, yes. Uh, and Stephen is one of these guys that whenever he starts something, he wants to finish it. It's not like me, <laughs> that I start something and never finish anything. Uh, Falcon 11 says, George, you are already a specialist for Heretic 2. Man, if you have the game for Amiga OS 4, try to, to play it uh, until you finish it. It's, it's a great game. 
it's a great game. Uh, Stephen says maybe show some other levels or to show how the graphics are different. Actually, I don't have any saves for other levels. Sorry for that. Um, but I will try to increase the resolution and try that on 640 to 360. Uh, and see how it goes. How playable it is. Try map the name of the level. Ah, that's that's a good idea. Uh, what are the names? Do you have a list? If I had uh, if I had the mouse uh, working, I was I would be much better. <laughs> Can I check the the files to find the names? But I have to check uh, to connect the mouse. Was ist nur über mein Volk gekommen? Was fehlt ihm? Er scheint krank zu sein. At this resolution it looks much better, of course, and I am almost tempted to, after the stream, to check uh, for uh, buying a Raspberry Pi 4. that you can step on the, these mallets and heal them just by running over them. Uh, map and healer, for example, okay. I guess uh, this command is going to be disabled for the final release, uh, Stephen. On Pi 4, actually, I like 64360 with uh, bilinear field learning better than 64480 without. Nice graphic, finger up. <laughs> okay. Good work, uh, Stephen. You just crashed uh, the game. Well done, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think something went wrong. Uh, but I will try that again. And that's uh, how we prove that the game is not ready for release. <laughs> how uh, st uh, am I in stuck right now? Okay, let's see again. Let me change the resolution to 640 with fake details. Low. Okay. And you said map uh, and healer. Oh, 
Oh no, this... Oh my god. I hate these birds. Falcon says, uh, Josh, you played this on OS4. Yeah, I finished it on OS4. happened again. Let me reboot and try the other uh, uh, map that uh, Stephen uh, mentioned in the chat. And uh, one thing that I didn't mention at all is how fast the game starts. Uh, recently I changed the, the partitions to um, use the PFS uh, which is fast but I don't think that this is the only reason uh, the game loads quite uh, fast in my machine which is also a very good uh, thing because you don't have uh, big uh, waiting times Falcon 11 every Tuesday I play games on uh, Amiga OS 4 now we I play the Doom 3 so if you have time join me there Du hast wieder Kraft. Ich habe mich von der Öffnung des Dimensionstors erholt, aber nicht vollständig. Corvus, du musst auf mich hören. Du bist infiziert worden. Nein, nicht jetzt. Das darf nicht sein. Corvus, that's the the. The stage I think you start after you finish the first boss. In the game, if I recall correctly. So from this stage, you have to find the the cure, uh, because he is infected by the plague.
Sorry about the sluggish movement. Have in mind that I play with keys. And now I am dead. Of course. It's really tough to play without the mouse for me. Fagan uh, ever says I didn't have time on Tuesday, but uh, maybe I will have. Uh, I hope to see you there. Stephen says on, uh, on the Warpaws uh, version, this was the slowest level of the game. But here it is pretty good, I think, yes. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's too tough for me. Uh, so, I think that's everything that I wanted to, to show you. Uh, yeah, I, I'm playing on the medium without the mouse. <laughs> it's, it's difficult. <laughs> uh, 
uh, at least for me, because I'm not used to play this uh, game with uh, the keys, only with the keys. Uh, if you have the mouse look, you can turn faster and you can uh, fight even better, uh, in my opinion. But it's a, it's a matter of getting used to it, right? Uh, so this is this is uh, everything I would like to show you today. Um, I hope you had a good taste on uh, how well these games are playing on a Pi Storm system. Even on my Pi Storm with a Raspberry Pi 3, and uh, I'm pretty sure with a stronger uh, Pi Storm, uh, these games are going to to fly and play even better. If uh, a game port like uh, the Heretic 2 will uh, drive a further development for Warp 3D for these systems, that will be a bless and uh, I believe this is what we need for uh, our systems. We need people to develop stuff like Stephen and thank you very much for Stephen for doing that. Uh, develop games, develop software for this because Stephen, even uh, if he ported this uh, game for 68k, he spent more time to work with uh, fixes on the Riva player, uh, with fixes uh, and port of the MPEGA library, and all the stuff that are needed for these uh, games. and. Uh, it is uh, a lot of work to do all this stuff and I really appreciate it that's why me and some other uh, people are devoting time to beta test these games and uh, find problems and uh, report them back um, so that at the end we are going to have a more complete game released for uh, everyone to enjoy um, Thanks everyone for being here. Thank you, Stephen, for being here and uh, giving us more insights about these games and for the great work that you did. Thank you, Falcon11, for uh, joining us. Uh, thanks everyone in the in the chat. Uh, Muadib, who was uh, earlier here, uh, and uh, who else? Um, Disutungo who was here earlier, Vincent, GR76, thank you for being here, uh, FFSOC, C277, everyone who joined in the chat, and everyone who didn't join in the chat, uh, the shy people, so uh, don't worry, maybe next time uh, you would like to share your ideas and your opinion with us, it's not mandatory after all. Uh, <coughs> I hope you enjoyed this uh, stream, I hope you I uh, find it useful and uh, interesting. I would like to mention here that uh, I'm doing a lot of uh, development and uh, other stuff for the Amiga community. So if you would like to know about it, I would uh, propose you to go to the uh, my blo Amiga blog, uh, which is at the coffee.com slash Volcaro and see what I am doing there. And also you are going to find uh, recordings of uh, previous streams uh, there as well as at my YouTube uh, channel. Uh, I would like to thank my monthly supporters who are uh, donating to me and uh, my work every every month and those are Breed, Christopher White, Daniel Tzendlika, Emek, Livelord, and Tim Grooms. Thank you so much guys for, the, for your support. And um, let's see if we can raid someone else who is doing something about uh, any stream about uh, Amiga. Let me have a look who is available. While we hear the dinosaurs killing each other. Um, let me see who is streaming right now.
Ah, we have a lot of people streaming. Let's see. Who is playing Amiga games? Or retro games? Let's go with... Uh, let's go and raid Kiefer Zeo. He's playing Baldur's Gate, uh, an old RPG game, which is uh, really interesting. I would like to, to watch his uh, stream. And uh, let's give him a raid. Thanks everyone for being here. And uh, I hope to see you. Uh, have in mind that I'm streaming every Tuesday Amiga OS 4 gaming nights. Uh, I'm streaming games on Amiga OS 4 system and every Friday uh, classic uh, Amiga uh, streams with uh, my Python for now maybe in the future I'm going to stream with uh, other systems uh, but for now I'm visiting the, the Python and I'm trying to find all the things that you can do with this system so have a great weekend thanks everyone for being here and see you soon bye bye